It has been an emotional day for some students and some teachers in the Highline School District. They're saying goodbye to a pair of historic buildings where generations of families have grown up. Here's King Five's Ted Land. <laughs> you know the feeling. <laughs> that giddy excitement of the last day of school. A shot in the dark, that's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly Meehan's been trying to keep kids under control during those final few hours for decades. 32 years. Today is her last. This has been an incredible community. Not only is Meehan retiring, Des Moines Elementary is closing. It has its own charm and quirks and personality. The school, which opened in the early 1920s, will be replaced with a gleaming new building on the other side of town. What's it like when you walk down these hallways here? When I first opened the door, I was um, expecting that s uh, certain smell that comes mm -hmm. up from the lunchroom, yeah. and I wasn't disappointed. Valerie Constantino and Nicole Jolly attended Des Moines decades ago and then sent their kids here. Constantino's now adult son plans to follow in his former teacher, Ms. Meehan's, footsteps. Tony just got done his fifth grade teacher. He starts next year. Good for him. I know. Oh, that's really exciting. The school replacement project is part of a district-wide series of improvements made possible by a 2016 bond. Highline High School is also closing. It too was built in the 1920s and after decades is in rough shape. Students will attend an interim school for two years while the district tears down and rebuilds this aging property. Back at Des Moines with summer just seconds away, a realization. This is the end. <laughs> okay. It's okay, honey, because you've got a beautiful summer ahead, right? You've been doing so much growing. Teachers like Paula Escher will miss the little things that made this place feel like home. I love those creaky old windows, the banging radiators, and we'll miss that sound. We'll just have to get some sound effects going in the middle of class. <laughs> the new building won't have that charm. Thank you for being so wonderful to these children. But if they're lucky. I'll miss you. Oh, thanks. Oh, <laughs> they'll still have this spirit. We can't say goodbye. It's just see you in a while in a whole new chapter, right? <laughs> Ted Land, King 5 News. So teachers and staff will start moving into the new Des Moines Elementary in August. The new high school should open in the fall of 2021. So